for this is great for breakfast, lunch, dinner, or an appetizer for dinner. For dinner, and these are little egg white frittatas. And the reason why I did for you know I took the egg yolk out of it. Not that there's anything wrong with using egg yolks, but it just um, it adds more a little tiny bit more cholesterol to it, which right. isn't bad because if you don't eat eggs every day, you'll be fine. Um, but I took it out because uh, it makes the the zucchini the um, the heart a little fluffier, makes oh, it nice and puffy. Rises. Yeah. Now okay. this is very easy to do. We have a garden out back. We brought in all our fresh herbs from the garden. Do you cook, Lori? Yeah. I do. I do, but not not like not like yeah. No. Oh. no. 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 I, I. This is what I strive yeah. to be. <laughs> okay. So we have zucchini from the garden and our fresh herbs, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to saute the zucchini in about two tablespoons of oil. And if you could take the onion, Lori, and you'll see, you make this yourself. There you took the onions and po just pop it in the pan. Ah, oh, beautiful. Okay, <laughs> the zucchini. zucchini. Please bring the little hearts in, please. So we have some onion and we also have some scallions. Thank you. Oh. And then I'm going to ask you to just mix I that all up. Part today. And to that, I got a, I'm going to add. Heart was incomplete. It was broken. I know. Yesterday oh, we had a thing with a little heart cake, and I went to cut it open, and I lost my heart. Oh. oh. I lost my heart. <laughs> I lost it. A little bit of time. How much time? A little bit of time. <laughs> About 30 minutes. <laughs> never gets Thank old. Never, yeah. never, yeah. never, never gets old. <laughs> and we have some uh, salt and pepper. She never catches on to that. I don't know. <laughs> I, know. Go. I do, Lori. Sure. A little bit of salt and pepper. All right, while you're sauteing that, I'm going to tell you you're going to need uh, 12 eggs for this particular recipe. And then what I'm going to do is I'm putting this in the silicone. Yummy. Do you like it? Really nice. nice and this light. Is really light. This is so really good. Very oh, thank light. you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, this is a silicone pa uh, pan, and it's shaped like a heart. You could bake muffins in it. But I thought, wouldn't it be cute to do the little zucchinis? So spray it with some vegetable spray. And this you can get at Sur La Table or any of the kitchen places, you know, like, uh, all right, Sur La Table, <laughs> on the table. Yeah. Yeah. And William like Sonoma. Yeah. Fabio will put the B on it. Put Sur La Table. <laughs> Sur La Table. Now, to our, <laughs> our deck could saute there, uh, Lori, and while they're doing that, we'll come back over here to the egg whites. Okay. And to this, I'm going to add fresh parsley and basil. So there's the basil over there, and here's the parsley. Okay. And then we'll just whisk that up. And then, see, that's it. That's wow. basically it. That's it. Now, that's, wow. that's it. Now, we're going to assemble it. So you see, basically, it's very easy to do. Now we're going to take our pan. You're going to make a bon marine. What a bon marine is, is you're going to bake it in some water. And what this will do, it'll help make it rise and get nice and puffy. And that's why it's so moist and Larry, uh, airy and light, Larry. <laughs> Larry. Larry. It's like, like, like my, new, my new word I said the other day, it was so joist. Do you know what joist is? It's, it's juicy and moist. Oh. And I, so I put the two things yeah. together. All right, so Larry, Curly, and Mel. Okay. So... And that's it. And okay. what I did is I put it in a, a cup, and then you fill this up only three quarters of the way up. And the reason why you do that is these are going to puff up, and you don't want them to puff up over the sides. Okay. Now, do you like goat, uh, goat cheese or Love. feta cheese? Oh, I like bo I, either one. I like okay, both. so we're going to use goat cheese today. Okay. And then what I do is I drop about um, a good tablespoon in there like that. It'll float on the top. And then... Um, if you have leftover sauce, please use your favorite leftover sauce. If you don't, I recommend Rayos. Um, I don't, they don't pay me. This is not an advertisement. I just happen to think this is one of the, the best uh, po jarred pasta sauces okay. out there. You know, I'm Italian, and it was a sin in our family to get sauce from a jar. Mm -hmm. And then when I tasted this stuff, I went, wow, this is like my nonna's. This is good. This happens to be the uh, mar marinara sauce, and so I'm going to... Put a little bit of the sauce on top. Just, I mean, not a little bit, just a nice big helping in there because this is really delicious. And then to it, if you could add some cheese on top. This is freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Okay, I want to make sure I didn't forget anything. Okay, and then I'm going to take the water. The well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the refrigerator. At the refrigerator. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Wait. Hang on. Wait for it. Okay. Not yet. Keep the drum roll going. Okay. I'm going to add the water in now because if I tried to do it the other way, I would have walked with it and the water would have gone everywhere. So you put the water three quarters of the way up. There you go. Your oven is preheated We're to 350 degrees. Right. Okay. Right. He's just, All right. He's in the bedroom just doing this. We're <laughs> Keep going. You're going to bake it for about 50 minutes or until it's nice and golden and puffy on top. And then when it's ready, Okay, it's not that hot. I'm gonna it there. Boom! Wow! Yeah. Okay. Do you see basically how?
how simple this that is very to do. easy. Now, does the water okay. steam it a little bit? Is that what we're Yes, doing? what okay. it does, it steams it, and that's why it comes out so light and air. And Mark ate the whole thing. Yes, I Mark did. healed yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> what? Sorry. What is that, like the, the winter vortex or something? Oh, just, yeah, you know. yes. Uh, I have a question, though. Yes, what's the question? If you don't have one of those snazzy little rubber things, could you use just a cupcake? Yes, thing? you could use a cupcake. I mean, yes, you use a, a tin, a cupcake a tin. tin. Make sure you spray it and make sure you use the bon marine because if you don't, it'll get baked and, and it'll cook on the side and it'll be hard to get it out. The reason why I use this, watch this, Lori, look how easy this is to take out. See, it just oh, lifts, yeah, just it just lifts right up like that. Yeah. There you go. And then what I like never to do, happened. what did you say? Never. Oh, I said that what? has never happened to me in my entire life. Ever. What? Yeah. It comes out sticks, right? Yeah. Yeah. Then you Her take. Heart fell out a long time ago. Oh. oh. But, um, Add a little bit more sauce, a little bit more cheese. And then we have us, uh, we'll just rip up. I like to do things organically, so you just rip it up like that. A little basil. Um, <clears throat> a little your basil, a little love bit this. of pepper. There you go. I think, Lori, they serve that to them. Uh, my heart, voila, to yours.